Gobble, gobble, bang. That's the name of the game when you're hunting turkeys with a single shot, and there's none better on the market than the new Henry single shot. This is their first dedicated wild turkey slayer. It's a three and a half inch chambered, one shooter dressed in full mossy oak obsession camel. I'm Kristen for guns.com. Stay with me and let's take a closer look at this turkey gun. Henry's new single shot turkey looks and feels the part. You see that full camo coverage, which makes you think right out of the box that that must be a synthetic stock. But not knowing Henry, they love American walnut and that's still what you have underneath here under that camo coverage. That's just fully coated in the official pattern of the National Wild Turkey Federation, the Mossy Oak Obsession. That's an excellent early spring, through spring, and even into early fall pattern where you're getting those nice rich greens that really let you blend in in the turkey woods because we don't want to be seen and the gun won't be either. What else do we get? There's a 24 inch round barrel. It's topped with really excellent quality fiber optic sights. So we've got a nice bright red rear, a bright green front, and those babies light up when you put them on the turkey's head. Tipped right here with the business end, an extended extra full turkey choke that is putting out devastating patterns, which you're gonna see on the range here in just a moment. Coming back on that stock, we have nice checkering. So if you're hunting in inclement weather, you've got plenty of grip on the gun. It's not a lightweight gun, which a lot of people are afraid of with a single shot. It's gonna have a lot of recoil. Well, of course it will have some because it's chambered for three and a half inch shells. So that's gonna give you some wallop, but it's not as bad as it could be. It comes in at 6.78 pounds. That's a heavy gun. You've got a soft rubber recoil pad here from Henry that helps eat up some of that recoil. Henry has hunters covered with this gun. They've thought of everything. You've got the sling studs so that it's easy to carry a heavier weight gun afield. You've got the nice fiber optics, but you also have the barrel here drilled and tapped. This takes a Weaver 82 base, which means that you can add your red dot, you can add a standard uh, turkey shotgun scope, or you can do what I'd like to do down the line and try out something like the loophole Delta Point and put that on here, a real low profile sight that'll travel nicely and really give you more pinpoint accuracy when you're stretching out those longer shots. But for the most part, you've been with me before, you know I love iron sights on a turkey gun and I love to get up close. And to that end, you can't beat those fiber optics. You know I'm a big fan of the sub gauges and using specialty shots, I've taken turkeys with Henry's 410. But I'll tell you what, sometimes when you don't want any question mark and you want to go to a 12 gauge, this is where you want to be in a Henry shotgun for turkeys. This will shoot up to three and a half inch shells, but that doesn't mean you can't shoot threes or two and three quarters. And you know what? You're still going to put out a very nice pattern. We've shot each of them. We've seen them on the range and anything will do. I like the specialty shots in a three inch for myself. A lot of folks might want to go to the three and a half. It's going to give you a little pop on both ends, but you will definitely get the job done in the turkey field. One nice thing for our left-handed friends especially is that this gun is completely ambidextrous. You've got a single shot here, so no ejection port that's going to get in your way. You have your lever here to break the action. That works either direction, so friendly for lefties, and obviously just the hammer. If you put a scope on there, you can put an extension on the hammer and you're set to go. And one other thing that we seldom mention when we talk about turkey guns or shotguns in general is the trigger. And to that end, Henry includes a really exceptional trigger on this single shot, which is really not what I expected at all. It's breaking right about five pounds, um, even before I was ready for it to go, which means that I was right on target. So that's just an additional aid to accuracy, even with a shotgun. All right, let's have a go here with patterning the Henry single shot. I have lined up some great turkey loads. I'm gonna see which ones I decide to hunt with. This is, will chamber a three and a half inch shell meaning you can shoot the threes or you can shoot the three and a halfs, whatever your preference is. I'm going to try some of each and see how they pattern. So we're going to start at 20 yards and we're going to work our way back and just see how this holds together with that nice tight extended turkey choke. So let's give it a go. And we're going to start hot right out of the gate with a three and a half inch browning. This is number five extended range turkey shot. So let's see what the recoil is like in a fairly lightweight single shot, not too light. It's a nice heavy build with a walnut stock, but a good recoil pad and some really nice fiber optic sights. 
get that right on the neck there. There we go. Woo! That has got some wallop, but I'll tell you what, that turkey is a goner. I just want to give you a closer look here. This is our 25 yard target that we just shot using a three and a half inch shell. And you can see there, this is absolutely a devastating pattern. This turkey is just about decapitated, but this punishes on both ends. So we need to be aware of that, especially if we're shooting in kind of an uncomfortable position. And as we'll see here, a three inch shell, even at distance, especially with the specialty shots, can do equally as well. But the Henry and that choke get the job done on turkeys. All right, we've moved back, we've done 20, we've done 25, we've worked our way in between, now we're at 50 yards. I consider that a great median place to be. You should know where your gun patterns. Some people choose to shoot further than that. I like to be inside of 50. I like to get up close and personal with the turkeys, but just in case a gobbler gets hung up, I want to know how my gun patterns. So here we go. Let's send another one and see how it looks. Boy, those fiber optics just light right up. I love that. Woo-wee! I felt that again, but so did the turkey. Let's go check it out. Well, you saw our 20 and 25 yard targets. We've done some in between, but this is a look at 50. Now my hold could have been just slightly lower, but this is still a nice dense pattern. That bird didn't take a step, I can guarantee you that. I'll tell you that, we take a look, we've got that extra full extended turkey choke there in the Henry single shot. That baby holds the shot together close and at distance. We've backed up to 70 yards, and I tell you what, if you needed to, I'm sure you could take that shot. But for me, I want those gobblers in close. But regardless, the Henry single shot will do the job on turkeys. Well, we just launched a couple of shots here from the bench. We've been at 20, we've been at 30, we've been back to 50 yards, and I am absolutely impressed with the patterning on this shotgun. I can tell you without a doubt that shooting a three and a half inch shell from the bench where your body doesn't have much give to the recoil is pretty stout, but I tell you what, it pays dividends on the other end on the target. That said, the three inch shells, especially these shells with the specialty shots, the Federal Third Degree, the Kent TK7, the Heavy Shot, Winchester's Bismuth blends, you can shoot that in a three inch, have much less recoil, and still have exceptional terminal performance on that target. But this is all really a personal preference. Shoot the loads you like. This gun is gonna get the job done on the other end, which means success in the turkey woods. Why would you wanna hunt with a single shot when you can grab any number of semi-autos, bolt actions, or any other turkey guns on the market? Well, here's one big thing that I look for. Single shots, in general, are more compact guns. We've got a 24 inch barrel here on the Henry and 39 and a half inches overall length. That's gonna be shorter than any bolt or semi-auto that has a 24 inch barrel because you don't have to have the room to operate that bolt inside of there. All you're doing is single loading your shell. It gives you a more compact platform, which especially in the turkey woods, when you're sometimes in tight quarters, you know, and you're tucked in or you're in your blind, you can get that gun up quick it's compact and you're not going to get snagged up on brush or on your blind. So just another benefit to think of there in a single shot. We have got a magnum chamber here, three and a half inch. You can also shoot threes or two and three quarters, but here's a three and a half inch heavy shot. Like loading any single shot, stick your shell in there, close the action. When you're ready to go, cock the hammer. You'll notice when I break the action here with the lever, this has a very strong ejector, so it'll kick those shells out. Henry repeating arms prove themselves time and time again. The made in America are not made at all company. One of the normal benefits that people always see to shooting a single shot is that they're usually cheap or more affordable guns. And to that end, the Henry is still affordable, though the MSR is 687. That may seem a little high for a single shot, but I tell you what, when you buy any Henry, and especially this single shot, you're buying a lifetime gun, not a throwaway single shot that you use for you know, a couple years and then something breaks on the internals. You're backed with an incredible warranty. You've got all the features that a turkey hunter wants in a single shot and it gets the job done. We've harvested a turkey with this gun this spring. 
It does fantastic on birds. You have seen it here on the range. It's a proven winner. Head on over to the guns.com vault where there's a nice selection of new and used guns and give us a like, share, and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on more hunting content like this coming your way.